Hey, good afternoon. My name is Jasmine Sims, and today I'll be talking to you about social networking. Today's focus points for social networking will be social, the social points uh, for social networking, professional standpoints for social networking, and um, the possibilities of dangers and risks for social networking. The social networking, it is beneficial in a socially and professionally um, standpoint. Socially, you're able to keep up with friends from long lost family members, as well as church members, residential um, people that you live around, and professionally being able to keep in touch with those who you work with and who you have some sort of relevant professional business with. Um, social networking can be harmful and dangerous if carelessly used and used unconsciously. A lot of times we use social networking and we post up indecent photos, statuses, and comments that can also give us a bad look as an individual rather as a group. And each objective today will be able to, um, to help each viewer to apply and comprehend the meanings of social networking more effectively and cautiously. The social focus for social networking is understanding the root of socializing. Non-social networking goes beyond a computer screen or a cell phone. Whereas 30, 40 years ago, social networking was thought to be being able to keep up with those of the business world. Those can help you elevate and to come up into your professional and also your educational um, path. Social networking also um, Internet social networks are replaced by developing relationships and communication skills. So whereas our grandparents, our great grandparents, or even our parents of today, they use their social skills by talking face to face and having tangible relationships. Whereas we, as a younger generation coming up off of technology, we use our social networks to keep up with our friends and to develop friendships and relationships. professional standpoint of social networking compared to MySpace, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and other blog sites, professional social networks are highly private and are strictly monitored. Whereas you would go on Facebook or MySpace and add a friend who you have no, any, no, have no relevant um, communication with or any relevant ties with, and they continue to ignore you as a friend on Facebook or MySpace, you won't be booted off the site. Whereas on a professional site, if you are denied as a friend three times or more, then you are removed as a user from that site. Also, professional social networks promote um, business functions, individual skills, and last but not least, employees for relevant and similar employers. So you're able to go on and to put your personal skills or your individual skills, promote your business, and also link up with others who are in the business world or the professional world or who has um, relevance with your employer. Possible risks and dangers for social networks. Being elaborative on personal information putting um, on Facebook your check-in, checking in, checking out where you are and where you're located. Um, a lot of times we post statuses on Facebook or on MySpace or on Twitter, and we are giving our social friends an insight on the um, materials that we're buying or the valuable things that we're putting in our home. So being elaborative on that can also make you suspect, susceptible to being a victim of um, robbery. It's also beneficial though, to those who are out on the town. So if you're searching for dining facilities or shopping, uh, shopping centers, it's also giving you an insight on those close by um, areas. It gives friends, families, and associates a peek on where you're located. So if you also don't know where you are, street location or a specific city or so, you can post that and your family and friends will be able to get to you at a, um, at a quicker speed. 
In conclusion, social networks does have its advantages and its disadvantages. Advantages again, being able to keep up with those family and friends who you don't get to see on a day-to-day -day basis or who you don't get to converse with via telephone. The disadvantages are being susceptible to being a victim of um, robbery and also posting indecent photos, comments and statuses, giving yourself a bad reputation. Technology is growing rapidly and so are social networks. We're keeping up with cell phones, we're keeping up with computers and laptops, cameras, and other high, um, high technology. Well, social networks are keeping up right behind those. Instead of emphasizing so much more on social networking, we also can improve our communication skills. Even though social networking does have its ins and outs, we um, also have to remember our communication skills to to be more formal and to be more verbal with those friends and families who we have developed relationships with. That's all I have for social networking. Thank you.